What's up, beautiful besties? Welcome back to Turning Tides Tarot. My name is Alicia. Thank you all so very much for being here with me. Y'all are just freaking incredible. Um, I'm really stoked to get into a uh, reading for Let's Keep On Going with this Divine Feminine train. It's been pretty awesome, um, and I'm really stoked to be able to connect with y'all. Um, of course, there are different collectives as well within the Divine Feminine realm. So please use your own discernment while we... Uh, interpret these messages, okay? Hopefully there is something for you. That is my intention. If you landed here, it's for a reason. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and ring the sound bowl. We'll get started and call in spirit and then see what those messages are going to be. Here we are, loves. Okay, I'm calling on spirit with so much love and so much gratitude. I ask for divine guidance as I interpret these messages. May they help us all on our journey towards our highest and greatest good. I'm asking for love, joy, peace, abundance, and protection for myself, for you, and for all beings on the planet at this time. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, what is the overall energy here, please? What are we reading on? What is the overall vibe that is here for our beautiful tribe? Here we go. What do we have? We have will. This has been coming up a lot lately. <laughs> a lot of divine feminines are tapping into their strength of will, uh, working with their own manifestations, making things happen. I love it. We have change. All right. Um, a lot of y'all are focusing on shifting or things are shifting for you. Okay. Let's just see what we have. Oh, fear. Again, why does this keep coming up? Nourishment. A lot of fear going on right now in the collective. We have sovereignty. Um, a very specific message here for Divine Feminine. Uh, for some of you, there is a fear perhaps on doing about <laughs> doing things on your own. Okay. Maybe some of you have recently uh, become single or um, there's something here that maybe you're breaking out of not just like a relationship, but it could be uh, a breaking out of a, a workplace or um, changing something really huge in your life where maybe you are moving away or there's something here that it feels really major. Okay. And of course, when we do go through some significant changes in our world, now, you know, the specifics are going to be up to you to fill in the blanks here because it is a general reading, but this is a major shift, a major change in your life. Um, we can become a little bit scared, right? We can get scared of, you know, it's the fear of the unknown. Is it going to work? Will I be able to do this on my own? Or am I going to be on my own forever? There is that kind of a vibe that we're picking up here, but it's okay because fear is honestly is just inverted faith, right? Fear comes up when we are, you know, focusing on what we don't want, right? We focus on, you know, the worst case scenario, what we don't want to see happen. Instead, when we're feeling fear, we can try to remain present, which is, you know, a little bit easier said than done, of course. Um, but if we become conscious of those fearful thoughts or ideas that are, you know, plaguing us, these doubts that are coming into our mind, um, and we're imagining the things that we don't want to see happen or the things that we're afraid of happening, um, we can just flip that fear around and decide consciously to focus on faith. And faith is just projecting the images of what we want to see happening, right? Instead of focusing on the things that we don't. So um, I see Divine Feminine here who is doing something like this, right? You are tapping in on your uh, strength of will, right? Um, to make sure that you know, you are nourishing the self and believing in yourself and knowing that you can do this thing on your own. Okay. Um, so it's a really powerful energy for the divine feminine collective. Of course, no, it's perfect. Like I said, we have these fears that can come up and you know, things like that, but we're going to focus on, um, really positive intentions, um, and, and, and manifesting what it is that we want to see rather than the things that we're afraid of. So that being all said, let's get a look. We're going to use some tarot and find out um, some specifics about the energy that's around you and any opportunities or any advice um, and things of that nature. Just yet. Yeah, here we go. Okay, Spirit, please show me what is going on for the Divine Feminine. 
Oh, look at that. Look at where I split the deck. Okay. Um, talking about sovereignty here, Divine Feminine, we have you showing up as the Nine of Pentacles energy, which is that pre-Empress vibe, also as the Queen of Swords. Now, it really doesn't matter about your gender. It's an energy, right? So we're looking at someone here who um, you recently have um, put down some very strong boundaries, okay? Um, you have perhaps even cut some people out of your life or really just drawn a line in the sand of what you are willing and not willing to accept, right? Because you're focusing on uh, what it is that you want to see change in your world. And some of that is... Um, you know, being on your own, doing things your own way. Um, now, I, I do have to say, since we did speak to maybe some of you are recently single, maybe even recently divorced, okay? Because sometimes with the um, Queen of Swords, we do call her the widowed queen or the divorced queen. Um, it's a queen here who has been through the most, right? Um, and who has learned via various... Uh, experiences, various painful experiences, how to protect themselves and protect their heart, okay? Now, this could also be a little bit of an attitude shift where you're like, you know what? I'm just going to do everything on my own. I'm not even looking for love. I'm not looking for a partner. I just, you know, I'm better off on my own. And there's no, there's no shade being thrown for anyone who's out there like this, okay, in this attitude. Um, you have learned to really rely on yourself. You are very strong here. And it's like, you've had to work very hard to get to where you are. So you could be, like I said, for some of you, it's not about a relationship. You may have um, severed ties with um, uh, a job or a career and, and you decide to branch out on your own and do your own thing, okay, and be very independent. So it's a very independent energy, but it is also a very successful energy. Now, this doesn't mean that you're cold-hearted and, you know, you're not... You've lost all sense of um, warmth and love and nourishment. That still exists within you. Uh, but you're not just willingly putting out energy to anyone who really doesn't deserve it, okay? Um, so this is a very good vibe, actually. It's somebody who um, just doesn't have time for games. It's someone who's, uh, you know, really raised their standards as well uh, within all aspects of their life, okay? So this is a pretty... Um, empowering message here that I'm getting. And just because we have fear, it doesn't mean that you still aren't very powerful. It just means that, you know, you're human and there are things that you would rather not see, you know, like you, there are things you're scared of and that's okay. It's okay. It doesn't mean that you're not strong. It doesn't mean that things aren't changing for you. Okay. It doesn't mean that you can't do this on your own. Right. So, um, yeah, it's a very, very, very independent type of an energy. Somebody has reclaimed their independence and reclaimed their power. OK, um, yeah, we have to be careful, though. Sometimes I just want to say there's a bit of a caveat with this vibe is, you know, um, trying not to isolate too much in our state of independence, right? There are um, there are still good people out there. There are still uh, wonderful spaces and communities and groups and friends and, and just uh, people in general who, um, you know, you just got to be careful not to close yourself off too much, okay? That's what I'm going to say about that. So we have the Five of Cups, yeah. I feel all of this change and this desire to be on your own, Divine Feminine, has come from experiencing a lot of loss, okay? And it's it's quite simple. Um, you've come to a point where you're just sick and tired of having any grief or sadness. I mean, you you spend enough time, you have spent enough time, um, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to cry these tears. I, I, I'm hearing this song, I'm not going to cry who sings that? I think it's Mary J. Blige. 90s girly over here. I'm always going to drop the 90s tunes, okay? So i um, not going to waste my tears. It's from a really good movie uh, called Waiting to Exhale. So I don't know. There might be a message in there. Maybe you're going through something like that. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's been, it's been so long since I've seen that movie, but I'm pretty sure it is a, about a group of women who are all, you know, kind of getting over some, you know, toxic relationships and things like that. So, um, you're just done. You're done with, you're done with that part of your life. Um, you are really wanting something new. Um, and you're, you're really excited to shift your timeline even so that you're just, you know, you're just sick and tired of it. You're sick and tired. Okay. We have the King of Cups here. Yes. Uh, with the King of Cups, it is a masculine energy, but you can be embodying this, or maybe this could be speaking to the person that, you know, 
you were grieving, let's say, or having to let go. Uh, it could be one or the other. So as we move on, I'll find out more. But the King of Cups as an energy is somebody who is, has emotionally matured, okay? So somebody who understands that there's a time to grieve, there's a time to process, and then there's a time to move on. Um, you also perhaps have shifted from a Queen of Cups energy to a King of Cups vibe, which is I'm not going to really go out of my way um, to share my emotions. I'm not, it's not that I don't feel them. It's not that I don't want to express. It's not that I don't want to nourish my loved ones, um, and take care of people. And, you know, it's just you or, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of messages in at once. Hold on, hold on spirit. Okay. It's just that you have learned not to, you know, put your heart on a platter, wear your heart on your sleeve. You've learned that it's best to kind of Keep some, some things to yourself, okay, until it is the right time to go ahead and share. Now, the message that was coming in real hot there was that your empathy, okay, your empathy has grown um, stronger. Your ability to empathize with others, maybe pick up on psychic energy, pick up on other people's feelings and thoughts and experiences. Um, and when you have that ability, um, sometimes it can be really difficult to manage your own emotions when you're in situations with, you know, people who are going through um, stress or anxiety and, you know, you're able to pick up on the mood, right? The vibe of a room. Um, when the King of Cups shows up, it's like you've really also learned how to manage that within you, okay? So you really have... Um, you really have more control over your emotional world than ever, all right? So I like seeing this here. This is the incoming energy. This is what got you to this point where you're just like really ready for some kind of shift and change to take place in your world, okay? So what do we need to know about this shift, this change here for the Divine Feminine? I like to see all this energy. It's really quite nice. We have uh, the three of pentacles, okay? I feel like this shift, this change within you, shift in attitude, even, um, you know, it's really something new. Um, and you have been working on it a little bit. Like, you know, this is a, a new, something new that you're implementing here. You are planning for the future. You're trying to be practical, about the steps that you need to take and you know you're almost building a map for where you want to see yourself like in the next year two years three years five years and sometimes when we do these imaginative exercises right um and we're laying out our plans of course we think we're going to be successful of course uh, we want to believe that we're going to be successful with the Six of Wands energy here. And most likely, I'm going to say 99%, you know, uh, it is a sure thing that you're going to be successful on this new journey if you keep going the way you're going with all of this shift and change. Um, but this is, again, where the fear can come in and try to throw us off track, okay? So Spirit's really asking and reminding you to focus on what you do want to see and not what you're afraid of happening, okay? So just kind of, you know, conquer those fears. <laughs> I know easier said than done, but it's okay. It's coming up for a reason, just to be acknowledged. Um, I really like seeing the Six of Wands energy. Whatever path this is, whatever new path, whatever you're working on, whatever what these... Uh, best laid plans are here that you have going on for yourself during this shift and new, new, I want to say new story in your life here, Divine Feminine. Um, this, if you keep going, if you stick to this plan, you will be not only just successful, but you will receive um, a lot of, there's like a lot of accolades. People will be, you'll be thrown into some kind of spotlight here. You may even become somewhat famous, you know. Um, it really depends on what it is you're working on personally. But for whatever it is, you're going to be recognized, right? Your hard work, your dedication, your craft, your skills, your talents, you know, whatever this is, um, you will be celebrated. And like I stated, um, you know, thrust into some sort of spotlight. So you may become, um, you may find out down the line, a little bit further down the line, that you actually become some kind of expert um, in your field, or maybe your story is here and it's inspiring others, or you're some kind of influencer in some way okay um and yeah you did it on your own and so uh, i feel like there's something here about wanting to or further down the timeline you will be able to if you want to teach others how to do the same okay so really positive vibe here 
Very positive vibe. What is the fear? I need to ask. I'm sorry. I just do. Okay. What is coming up here? Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Um, yeah, we have the star and the 10 of swords, right? We also have the four of cups coming through. And now this is talking about betrayals, rejections, you know, and it, again, it's a very natural thing to be scared of, especially because I can see that you've been through, like I said, the most here, divine feminine in the past. So you're trying to remain hopeful for the future. You're trying to remain positive. Um, and you are working on a wish and a dream and a goal, right? Now, not only that, you've done, you have come leaps and bounds with your own personal healing, right? So this puts you in a very lucky position to see the star, the six of wands here, saying that you have raised your vibration. Okay. The star talks about healing. Okay. Um, and you've been raised, you've raised your vibration. Therefore, you're able to actually draw in those um, wishes, those experiences, those things that you truly desire, right? Into your world. Like your, your powers of manifestation are on point, right? Um, if you continue down this path. Now, of course, um, <laughs> you know, the fear is the 10 of swords, betrayals, difficulties, you know, um, rejections. Like I said, with the four of cups becoming bored, maybe it's not what I wanted. You know, maybe it turns out that, uh, this next thing is just going to fall apart or whenever, whenever anything good happens, you know, you could be saying things like this. You got to be really careful with your spoken word because it's so powerful, right? I almost don't even want to speak it into the reading, but I am picking up that for some of you, you may state things like this, even if it's a joke, it still counts. Oh, anytime every, and something goes good for me, the rug gets pulled over or just waiting for the other shoe to drop, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, we got to really be conscious of the things that we're putting out there, you know, because they are attached to the fear, right? They're attached to the fear of things falling apart, things not working out. You know, there's a core belief for some of you and, 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 you know, it doesn't have to be true for everyone here in the reading. So, you know, <laughs> just hold on. But for those of you who it is, and, um, I can even be guilty of it sometimes myself, like, you know, we're all human. Um, but it's like, yeah, no, um, as soon as anything good happens, you know, it all falls apart or, you know, um, yeah, it looks all good for now, but just waiting for, you know, whatever. I already said that stuff. So we got to be really careful. I just want to say all of that to say this, we got to be really careful of our beliefs, even though we, we don't, yeah, the core belief, that's where I was going with that. Instead of repeating the message, hold on <laughs> the core belief of like things will fall apart. That's a core belief, right? Um, anytime anything good happens, it falls apart or I end up betrayed or I end up rejected or, you know, something I think is going good and then it falls apart. You know, that's something that we really got to work on to change the internal dialogue. Okay. Change that fear. It comes from the fear, right? Um, that everything's going to fall apart. Instead, we're going to, we're going to replace the fearful core belief with something that is, um, a belief that is rooted in faith. Okay. That's how you combat fear is with faith, right? So there's some conscious work that has to be done here to, to make sure that you stay on track, divine feminine, right? Um, and it's really beautiful. Okay. It is really beautiful. Um, at the bottom of the deck, I did just see the queen of cups here. So it's interesting that, you know, I kind of felt her presence there, felt their presence earlier. Um, yeah, very, very interesting. Okay. Now, because we were talking about the, um, the core beliefs, right? I do want to take a moment here. Um, and I'm going to find my deck of, uh, affirmations and I'm going to pull out a few just in case you need some little nuggets here. Um, if you want to pause the video and yeah, I don't know, get your note app open or, you know, get a pen and paper if you're going analog and, and write these down. Cause I feel like they're going to be very important, um, ways to replace some of the fearful, you know, thoughts that can come creeping in, right? Hold on. Okay, so this is just general overall affirmations for you. I'm also going to pull out some specific love specific affirmations because before we go there, um, because I see the king and queen of cups, this is like a divinely guided partnership. This is love. For those of you who are perhaps the fear is that, you know what, I'll never find someone to match my energy. I'm going to spend the rest of my life on my own, that kind of a thing. 
that that's not what's going to happen, right? So that's why I'm going to take some love affirmations as well. Um, you will, you know, we gotta, we gotta not focus on what we're afraid of. We're going to focus on what it is that we want. Okay. So here are some examples. Here are some affirmations to help, um, <laughs> to help change the narrative in the mind. All right. So the past is over. All right. This is a new day, one that I have never lived before. I stay in the now and I enjoy each and every moment, okay? Which is really important. Not only is the past over, but the future has yet to be experienced, right? So staying in the present moment is probably the most powerful thing. If we're getting into the thoughts and, and fears and doubts and things like that, um, we can always say, well, what's the point of worrying? It's not likely going to happen. Instead, I'm going to have faith in what I want to see in my world, okay? And I know it's, it can be easier said than done, but this is why we're here and this is why we're working with these affirmations right now. We want to change the narrative, okay? So that we do get what we want, right? We do get what we want, okay. The point of power is always in the present moment. Thank you, spirit, that's what we're talking about. The past is over and done and has no power over me. I can begin to be free in this moment. Today's thoughts create my future. I am in charge. I now take my own power back. I am safe and free, right? You are in charge of your future. And it is all based on your thoughts and your actions in the present moment, okay? Present moment. All right, let's go. One more here. What do we have? <laughs> it's only a thought and a thought can be changed. So someone was out here saying, oh gosh, uh, I've already done the worst. I've already thought the worst. How do I fix that? Can I fix that? It's too late for me. No, it's not. It's only a thought and a thought can be changed. I am not limited by past thinking. I choose my thoughts with care. I constantly have new insights and new ways of looking at my world. I am willing to change and grow. Okay. So the point, the, the point of power is always in the present moment. And if you thought these crazy thoughts in the past, don't worry about it. They're in the past. The past is over. Let's go back to the now, right? Here we go. I feel like one more wants to come out here for y'all. I love this message. Actually, I feel like it's a very empowering message. It's probably what you need to hear right now in the moment, Divine Feminine. Um, and it covers, like I stated, all aspects of your world. Okay. Um, all right, here we go. It's someone here who's creating a new future. I balance my masculine and feminine sides. Now, because we have the masculine and feminine of um, cups here, when cups rule our emotions, this could be what it is for you as well. Why this is coming out, the masculine and feminine, right? The masculine and feminine parts of me are in perfect balance and harmony. I am at peace and all is well. Now, the feminine parts are those, you know, receptive. It's a receptive energy and the masculine is the active, right? So I'm, I'm able to give and receive freely. I balance my masculine and feminine sides. All is well in my world. Now, for those of you who are here and this is relating to your romantic life, okay, Let's get you some love affirmations, okay, to work with. Now, these ones are funny. Uh, the decks, well, they try to be funny. It's called Affirmators. Affirm affirmators? I don't know. That's <laughs> so weird. Uh, but the messages are, there's always a way that they try to be funny. <laughs> I'll try to be good with the delivery here, but sometimes I don't get it until after I've already read it out loud. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, come on now. What is the love affirmation for our beautiful Divine Feminines? What is the love affirmation here? Okay, this one needs to come up. <clears throat> Acceptance. Okay, all right. Okay, here we go. When I, get to know, when I get to know new people, I accept their actual traits rather than the ones I project on them, okay? Same goes for not new people I already know. Acceptance is the delicate art that reminds us everyone is their own unique self and we can't expect them to ever be anything but. Man, how do those snowflakes do it? Okay, yeah. All right, acceptance, okay? We're, we're going to do our best not to project what we think they should be or how we think they should be. Uh, we're just going to accept people, past, present, new people uh, for how they are and how they show up, good or bad, right? Okay, 
at the bottom of the doubt, or bottom of the doubt, at the bottom of the deck, uh, we have benefit of the doubt. I believe in the basic goodness of other people, and I give them the chance to show it. If they prove me wrong, that's on them. At least I can go to sleep knowing that I practice trust and forgiveness rather than fear and doubt. And later on, if I need to, I can always change my mind and retroactively judge them like it's my career. <laughs> okay, so the fear and the doubt is coming up again. We're going to accept people um, for who they are as they show us now in the moment, not based on the past, not based on the projection of the future of what we would like to see them be and whatever. Um yeah, but we're not going to be completely closed off either, right? Because we did see that Queen of Swords, that guard up, that, you know, boundaries on point. Like I stated, it doesn't mean that you cannot, um, you know, believe in the goodness of people. Like I said at the very beginning, there are still incredible people out there, right? And we're not going to close ourselves off to them. Um, and, you know, we can give them a chance to show uh, who they are. And if they prove you wrong, you know, like, my mom always said it, and I know it's like a, um, a saying, like, you know, uh, people will show you their true colors. Like when they show you their true colors, believe them, right? We're not going to sit in our head. We're not going to make excuses. We're not going to say, oh, well, they did this because of that. Just believe them how they show up. Okay. That this radical acceptance here. Uh, that you will be practicing Divine Feminine if this is your reading. Now, I am sending you so much love, so much love. Uh, that being said, I'm just going to close the reading with a message from the Goddess Guidance just to see what wants to come up. I, I really like this deck. It's pretty lighthearted. Um, and to see what messages want to come up here for Divine Feminine. Thank you so very much for being here with me. Um, I really, truly appreciate y'all. Okay, um, let's see what we have. We have Compassion, okay? Release judgment about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone, but not to the point where it becomes like you're talking yourself into, oh, I can see the light within them, but they're acting like, you know, whatever, not very love and light, whatever, accept people for what they show you. All right, please. We also have easy does it. There's no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. I am sending you all the love here, Divine Feminine. Thank you for being here with me. Um, pretty sure I already said that. Uh, and I'm just going to take a moment to invite everyone who has stumbled upon this reading, who may be new to our tribe. I'll invo invite y'all to join. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button. It is free to do. And we would love to welcome you into our tribe. Also, if you would like to give any kind of energy exchange, I am always open and grateful to receive that. Uh, you can do so by liking or sharing or commenting. I always love reading the comments, y'all. Uh, and if I have the chance, I do definitely like to get in the comments and respond or at least give you a little heart. Um, and I really appreciate the donations and the folks who are ordering personals. Um, on a side note to that, I do uh, just have a couple left that I'm working through and then my plate will be completely clear. Um, so if you're waiting on it, it's coming soon, friends, okay? Um, um, sending you lots of love. Thank you once again, and I hope you all have a blessed day. Take care. She said she don't love me. Thought the car that wasn't in the deck. The car my finger touched. Say I got my wish. You know, sure when it's all done, she said she was beautiful.